Setsu to me means a celebration of your individuality, of each person's uniqueness, what, what makes them them within a context of like a larger community. So it's groups of different kinds of people all coming together like under one, under one umbrella for, for something which, you know, which they commonly share. It's, um, it's, it's nothing, it's not anything that is um, mainstream or that is um, the same. It's more um, the kaleidoscope of, of everything within, like, within people's groups. So it's me with my neighbor in New York or in Botswana, where I'm from, or like anywhere, and, and how we relate to each other, you know, how we sort of, we acknowledge our similarities and we celebrate that and we, we acknowledge our differences and we celebrate that. It's, um, that's how I celebrate that personally in my own life, um, in my work. I bring myself, my unique experiences, which, which nobody else has, you know, what makes me, me. And I bring that to my own, um, to my day-to-day, -to, -day, to my relationships, to my work, to my career, you know, with every character and every role I portray. It's, it's that, um, it's the Kelly factor which comes into it, you know, so that could be, that character could, could be played by a hundred different actors, but there is um, one individual thing or several individual things which which I bring to it, which is unique, which then makes that character unique and which what which what brings it alive on screen or on stage. With my own personal experiences, I share the meaning of what I think Seso is and what culture is in my world. Um, in New York City, it's in it's in my work and in my friendships. It's with um, it's how I work, like when I take on a role, like when I get engaged with a character in a play or in a film. It's my, um, it's my interpretation of that world and me bringing my own self to it. Um, how I feel about that is, or how I do that specifically is, um, it's my own personal experiences. I've traveled all over the world. I'm from Botswana, but I've had wonderful experiences in different countries and different continents and the characters I've played haven't necessarily been from my country at all so I I bring in like the cultural elements of Botswana to to my characters and it's not even a deliberate thing it's just more intrinsically sort of just placed in and that's how I sort of approach it with my with my relationships in New York, with my friends, my co-workers, with my theater community. Um, it's, a, it's an intrinsic value which I share with people. And as an actor, as an artist, we share that with, um, with our interpretation of something. We don't do it um, so blatantly and in such a black and white perspective. We try to um, we try to share the experiences and the and the feelings and the emotions of 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 our communities, of where we come from, of our backgrounds, with the current situation, with the character, with the play, with the storyline and the plot. And that's why I can play an English character or um, a Jamaican character or a character from like any country or whatever, because because. There's also that shared experience that we have, that I have as somebody from Botswana who has traveled the world with um, an aristocrat from England, for example, or with an American Southern Belle, for example. So um, that's how I, that's how I interpret culture. That's how I'm, I bring it alive in my performance. It's, um, it's how, um, for example, like when I'm working on, a, um, on an accent for a character, it's, it's me playing this accent which is, um, which is spoken by, you know, lots of people. But then it's also then how I think of it and it's how, um, how my perspective has, how my perspective influences that 
that that culture, that world which I'm diving into. So that's how I um, that's how I bring that alive for me.